Hi there. I recently picked up this lovely old Irvine 40 and I really like these old Irvine engines and it's come with the original muffler. You can see here the, the maker's name Irvine and uh, made in England. It looks like it's had a, a quite a hard life and been cleaned up in the past and, and also the engine is the engine's got a few little scratches on it. Unfortunately somebody's had a, a, a wire brush on it but we can see here We've got the maker's name, Irvine 40, and uh, made in England, just below the uh, just below the lug there. Hopefully, the the light's okay to pick that up. Now, this is the as I said, this is the Irvine 40 Mark II, and the Mark II was introduced in 1980, and they were made well into the the 1990s. But looking at this engine, there's a, a few few clues as to what age this is, and this is, assuming it's all original, it's probably one of the later production models. You can tell that, firstly, because of the, the carb. The, the carb is an aluminium bodied, twin needled carb with lovely brass fittings. The original carb, when these were introduced in 1980, and for most of the 1980s, were plastic or resin reinforced, and they had the Irvine name embossed on the front. These aluminium carbs, which are fantastic, were introduced in uh, 1989. So that tells us uh, roughly that this is after 1989 sometime. These are lovely to tune. I, I, I really like these. I find the needles very positive. I find them, once you've got it dialed in, it, it, it's really good. The other thing that gives us a, an indication of the age is the channel down here. This is the boost channel and when it was first introduced they had just a little bit of a bump so just this top portion and in the I think it's probably the early 90s they actually changed the crankcase still calling it the Irvine 40 Mark II and they ex uh, modified it to give this complete channel down the side here to the, the bottom of the crankcase. The, uh, a nice thing about this, which I've seen on, on the old Meteor engines, the old English Meteor engines, and probably on, on, on a few others, is that the, the uh, uh, threaded shaft out the front of the crankshaft is actually replaceable. So if you bend it, you have a nose down and uh, you don't damage the crankshaft, you can always re replace this, which is quite a nice idea. I think the Irvine uh, 61 is also the same as that, but it's not the case with all Irvine engines. The only other thing I can say is actually the, the uh, back plate here, which is plastic uh, resin reinforced. It would have been nice if it was aluminium and um, they did change the design and produce aluminium backplates for some of the, the later engines like the Mark III and uh, certainly the, 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 the 61, the Irvine 61 had that and I think also the Q40, the, 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 the quiet one with the, the different muffler. But uh, like I say, I really love these old, these old Irvine engines and they run just so sweet. And let's get to the airfield and we'll fire this thing up and see how it runs. Hi there. Well, it's a lovely quiet morning at my airfield. I've just arrived and I'm really excited about getting this old Irvine 40 fired up. I've fitted it with a 10x6 Master Air Screw prop and I'm going to be running it on a 7% nitro fuel mix which has got 20% oil and that's a 50-50 synthetic and caster mix. Uh, it's got a number 8 OS plug in it. So let's get this thing fired up. Well this is the first time I've ever run this engine so it's going to be quite interesting to see how it starts.
think it's just running a little bit rich or a lot rich <laughs> so I'm just going to take that needle in a bit right well I've spent a little bit of time tuning this now and uh, it was just running a little bit rich at first so I'm going to reset the uh, taco and uh, fire it up and we'll show you how it runs to hold a really nice idle, uh, just over 2,500 RPM and we're getting a maximum RPM of about 1,300 which is really nice or well just over 12, between 12 and 13. Well, I really enjoyed that. That was a joy to run. It was lovely. It took a little bit of tuning just at first because the, the, the low speed needle, it was running uh, too rich. So I just had to adjust that a little bit. And of course, the high speed needle uh, needed to be adjusted as well. Um, but it, it, it ran beautifully and it held a lovely idle at about, it was about 2,600 RPM, a little bit of variation, but it was quite nice and steady. And, and while it was idling, it had this deep burbling sound, which I haven't heard in, in, in some of the other engines that I've ran. And it, it's, it had a really nice, nice tone to it. And the transition, uh, straight up, more or less, to 12,300, something like that, I think it was and just held that top speed lovely. So this is a beautiful engine and it runs lovely. I, I get such a lot of joy running some of these, these older engines and the sound of them and how they run. They, they're just built so lovely and I, and I hope you enjoy seeing that as well. So that was, a, that was a good run, I enjoyed that a lot.